So you know when you go to a restaurant and you order a bunch of food and you come home with a doggy bag and you're kind of excited because hey, you got leftovers for lunch tomorrow. And then in the morning you wake up and you're like, oh fuck, what do I do with these leftovers? Well, you know what? Let's put a Rick Scooty spin on it. Chili chicken with gravy. Oh yeah, chicken biryani. Mmm, that's good. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a Desi style leftovers on and cherry. Is it onion cherry? Orange cherry. Uh, orange, orangini? Orangini. Orangini. Take two. If you don't know what orangini is, it's risotto, leftover risotto, or just risotto in a bowl, stuffed with cheese and meat or whatever it may be. It's usually cheese with a marinara sauce. I've got the rice. I've got the meat. I've got some gravy. I think I'm gonna do an orangini. A desi Italian twist. Orangini balls itself, they're like golf size, ball size. Golf size, ball size. So, chicken's all chopped up. We're gonna take our chicken right into that pot. I take my chicken biryani and mix this up. Now, you know, usually, typically with a risotto, it's kind of like it's a wet texture. And this chicken biryani, it's a dry texture. But with that gravy, you can see it's soaking in nicely. You know, that, that rice is becoming nice and wet. If you take a look at that, that's already like nice and gooey. It kind of looks like a risotto. You know, from that chili chicken and everything, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my mozzarella cheese that's already been shredded, and I'm just gonna add a handful in. This is gonna make it nice and gooey, and it's gonna help that binding process, because, you know, after this, we're gonna add a little bit of panko, some breadcrumbs. We're gonna give this a try, because that's what we did in the kitchen. I'm gonna shut this off, because it looks good, and... That's like, that's, cheers, that was, that's how good it is. That there is like spicy, gooey, salty, Indian, Italian. Let me take a deep breath, good? Good? Okay? Okay, good. Set <clears throat> a food gasm there, food gasm. Look it up, some parchment paper. We're gonna take this, put it in the fridge or freezer, let it cool, the risotto is done. Look at that. It's not moving anywhere, it's nice and congealed. So, what we're gonna do, we take two eggs, get the egg whites out of them, and that's gonna be used for the binding. Okay, so, oh shit. Nobody saw that. We're gonna use breadcrumbs, and the breadcrumbs are gonna go into my bowl and not all over my feet. That's about a cup. So you take the, the risotto ball, and you make it into a nice little ball. Put it in the palm of your hand, and you press down, okay? You take a little bit of your cheese, put it in the middle, boom, cover it up. There you go. Then we take this, put it into our egg white mixture, and put it into our breadcrumbs. I ain't no shot. Some of them are big, some of them are small. Some people have big balls, and some people got small balls. I've got big balls. All right, so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in the fridge and let them firm up. We're gonna put them in there for about another 10 to 15 minutes, get them firm. All right, so my arancinis are, okay. The arancinis are done, they're nice and firm, and now we're gonna go right into the oven at 400 degrees. Usually, arancini has a nice marinara. I don't have any ingredients for a marinara in my fridge, but with this mind and that fridge and this kitchen that God has given us, we can make a marinara, or close to a marinara, using these two ingredients that I had in my fridge. Extra virgin olive oil, there we go. Just so I put the sauce in there. I'm gonna take my salsa, I'm gonna add all that in there. Boom. I'm just gonna take some basil, teaspoon, sprinkle, whatever you want. About a teaspoon of salt, some Montreal seasoning, just a couple of sprinkles. Simmer for about five minutes, let those flavors mingle, and you will have yourself. Oh, tastes fantastic. Add some black pepper. Hey, mamma mia, this is the good. Yeah. All from leftovers, dude. Can you believe that? There you go. Very fragile. Don't be disappointed. If this happens to you in the kitchen, it's okay. It's still edible. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Look at, oh. 
You see that? Wow. That is, are you capturing that? That's food porn right there. Um, take your spoon. We're gonna just put a little indent in there. Flat chili chicken, chicken biryani, arancinis with a marinara sauce for leftovers. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna take my already because I'm gonna take a picture of this and put it up on my blog, which is Rick Scudi, so you can find that on Facebook. But I'm gonna try these out right now, okay? This is the moment I chew. This, this is, this is, this is the excitement. This builds up, this moment builds up to this right here. The moment of truth. Is this gonna be good or not? Oh. Wow, that, I don't know how to explain this. 